So here's the uh, the progress of my Comics 35. Still waiting on one of the Logic chips and the RCA chips. Oh, and I haven't done the done the uh, EEPROM yet. Um, and the keycaps have just arrived. Space bar separate. So I thought I'd try these ones out. Um, kind of. <laughs> Well, actually, I thought this kind of matched the original, um, which I have over there. Let me grab it. Here's the original. I thought, oh, well, try and try and keep it similar. So anyway, so they have just arrived. The only, so I'll put these on today. Only problem is for the space bar, these are the only size um, support bars I got. Obviously, you need one that kind of goes along here like that, so I still need to order that. Anyway, slowly, slowly, slowly getting there. I'm hoping these um, RCA chips will arrive maybe today. Let's see. That one's still in progress. And I notice I've forgotten a couple of resistors or <laughs> the power socket. So, slowly getting there. Okay, it is complete except for the plus minus division i might have to order some more keys for those keycaps for those but that's the shift <laughs> that's my little space delete control these kind of don't match up because you know we've got uh, you know we've got the uh the chon chon there and you know we've got zero and a weird thing there and less than in brackets whereas you know we've got yeah anyway <laughs> non-standard keyboard so you know anyway close enough but i like you know that we've got kind of the same the same colors anyway that's what i get at the moment so some work is required uh we've got pal set i have adjusted the um the video level and the sync level didn't make much difference um so i might have to look at these fellows here i don't think i've missed anything out i've got everything in there anyway let's see i've tried replacing the 1870 and I can make out that I'm typing text. So there is display happening. You just see it there. So when I reset it, it goes away. So let me keep fiddling. Okay, I'm not having any, any luck with just simply changing chips. So I might actually have to do some troubleshooting. I've hooked in a, a speaker. We'll just put in a two pin header and then made a small cable. And um, cause one of the great things about, well, great things, neat things is that you get a nice tone when you reset. So that means, you know, the CPU is running, the ROM's running, um, crystal should be running. So, I'm just running because I haven't put in a variable capacitor there. I've just stuck in a 120 pica farad, which um, couples the chroma into the luma. So I wonder maybe if I should just get rid of that and just see if I get straight black and white, if the luma looks okay. So I'm going to try that next. So, um, yeah, I've removed the, removed the 120. Power that off. Pointer. Where's my pointer? Oh, I'll use this. So I've, I've disconnected the 120 pica farad that was coupling the chroma. Um, video output's pretty simple. So it's the 1870 chip, which is this one here. And you've got your sync level and video level there. You've got actually you've got three sets of PAL NTSC switches. So yeah. Anyway. Um, so basically you get your either your NTSC or your PAL chroma out. So I've got it set to PAL. 
through the 120. So I've disconnected that, so I should just be getting Luma, Luma and Sync actually. So, so Chroma should be okay. So okay, so Luma and Sync coming out. We've got the the 10k, uh, 10k here, which I assume is the Sync level. So that's Sync level there. Coming down here to another 10k, which will be that one there, which will be the video level. Going into the transistor, then you've got. 10 ohms up to 5 volts, 220 down to ground, and you've got your 75 ohm to match the impedance of the of the video. So it's pretty simple. So there's a transistor. I might just double check. They're both 10K. Um, obviously, you know, it could be an issue with the chip, but I can see the video is being generated. I can see text being generated. It's just not syncing. Um, so I just need to check, uh, what have we got? R12, R13, R10, so R12, R13, I'll just make sure I've got those the right value. And then R11, wait, R11, which is supposed to be 10 ohms. Brown, black, black, so that should be 10 ohms. That's R13, R13 is supposed to be 75. What's, uh, oh, I don't wanna. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, the rhyming mnemonic, I'm not going to say that on camera. Um, and then 220, R12. So red, red, black, black. So I guess that's 220. But I will double check. And, and obviously the transistor, I'll just double check the transistor too. So just to reiterate what I just said, I thought, well, I might as well zoom in. Um, so here's your 1870 here. And that works with your... 71 I think 69 is your keyboard anyway so you've got your 120 picofarad here which um, couples your chroma output with your luma then you've got your transistor here which makes up the um, emitter follower type of buffer I think um, and then you've got your um, you've got your sync level here and then goes into your, um, your video level here, which then feeds into your transistor. And then you've got 220, which is R12, going to ground. You've got R11, which should be 10 ohms um, to 5 volts. And you've got your R13, which is your 75 ohm um, impedance match for your composite output. So, yeah, as I just said, I'm just going to just check all those. Um, maybe replace the chip as well let's see okay you probably can't read this i've done my best but this transistor is a 2n3906 the schematics reckon it should be a 2n3904 um, so I don't know what I've done there. I don't know what the difference is off the top of my head, but um, maybe that could be the reason. So let's change that out. Okay, so this is definitely the right one. 2N3904, not 2N3906. So let's pull that one out. I don't know how interesting this will be, but all right, so I'm going to desolder this sucker. So add a bit more solder. Shouldn't really have to actually because it's fresh solder anyway. It's not a it's not a 40 year old computer you're trying to replace. It's not really sucking as well as it used to be.
Ah, solder stuck in the tube. Finish this off camera, I think. So I'm not gonna try and reuse this. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay. See it. Really see it. Two nine, two N three nine oh six. So let's clean up. Let's clean those up very carefully. Oh, there's legs still in there, of course. connected to ground is always the hardest because the ground plane can absorb a lot of heat. to start with. You don't want to go messing up your... I'm guessing that's ground. So maybe a bit more solder and it'll come out. Actually just falling right through. But you don't want to too much heat that you ruin the solder pads. That one's pretty much gone. What a mess, what a mess. Actually, sometimes the best thing is to use a 2.5mm uh, drill fit just to drill the hole. So you don't put too much heat on and ruin the solder pads. See through them Ooh, just about. <laughs> now, okay, it's definitely the right, definitely the right transistor. Huh? This fixes the luma. 
I'm going to have to redo the 120 Piper Farad capacitor to couple the chroma back in. Okay. Okay. Do, do, do. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, you're connected up. Power on. Okay. Might need adjusting of the levels again. Okay, so still on. Um, think, um, let's try both halfway at the moment. Adjusting the sink or the composite sink. Okay. Adjusting the video level. Oh, yeah, you can see, yeah, white, white, white. down to nothing so that's the video level halfway the image is more stable um, so that's okay so that's sync all the way to the left that's sync halfway I might have to go all the way okay that's sync all the way to the right and coming back to midway and I've lost it again okay so going again to the right all the way to the right and back off a bit okay so we might have a screen we might have a we might have a working CPU is working, it can read the ROM. I'm not seeing any output on the screen. Okay. So I'll go back to swapping chips again. Power off. Change that jumper. Power on. No difference. my son what to check next I'm tried changing chips again now that I've got the right right transistor in um, power off see if I can recouple the chroma okay that's interesting Kind of have to increase the sync level to get an image and then bring it back. I don't know, I could, I couldn't get exact. It says here. Uh, for the dot clock, 11.2896 megahertz crystal. Um, so, NTSC, pal, yeah, mm -hmm. so 17.734 megahertz for pal, which I thought I kind of got. Okay, power off. So the 1869 
1869 generates horizontal sync display. Um, active low, which goes into the 1870, which does the actual display. Let's swap. swap that. Let me pause. Okay, interesting. So I'm adjusting the video level. I've swapped the 1869 chip. Adjusting the video level. Happy with the power. Oh, okay. It's now CCAM apparently. <laughs> so this is with, I haven't put the 120 picofarad in properly. But it's apparently your seat is receiving a CCAM signal now. So. Troubleshooting continues. Okay, this is something different. And it's gone again. Adjust the sync. Oh. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Just the video level. There we go. Okay. Adjusting the sink. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, I might, um, I might solder in that 120 pico farad better. Press any button. There's the any button. Okay, <laughs> that is not expected. <coughs> Interesting. Power off. Try that jumper. Okay. So first power on you get this garbage. Press the reset. So it's always having to Always having to manually adjust the the sink level. Doesn't like the sink level when you first start by the looks of it. Oh, okay. Interesting. Actually, let me let me disconnect that one twenty pi to farad. Again, adjust the sink level. Turn it to the left and turn it back to the right again. Interesting. Getting colour without the chroma being. Okay. That's okay. Well, while I'm getting colour, that display is looking a lot more stable, isn't it? Adjusting the video level. Okay. I don't know, look, maybe a RAM issue. I've got three, there's three RAM chips on here. Maybe the, the keyboard, keyboard decoder as well. Interesting. So yeah, definitely the 120 picofarad is disconnected. So the chrome is not being, well, as far as I know, it's not being coupled in to the lumen output. Very interesting. Interesting. Okay, getting there. We can get there. Okay, time for a break. Okay, so after quite a bit of fiddling, it is, seems to be working. 
the latest version of basic um the reset doesn't seem to work i keep getting j you're supposed to hold down reset and space it's supposed to reset it so maybe i need to maybe i need to um check the keyboard but yeah it's working so i've got um what's the current settings so it's set on pal um yeah i don't know what the final problem was i've swapped the memory out so i've got you know we've got three lots of 32k um i think that's that must be the screen yeah i'm not sure but i've swapped it out for what came with the with the rca chip um set and then that wasn't working so i swapped it back in and now it's working so i also swapped out the 1802 and it wasn't working and now it's working so there we go yeah i'm happy i'm happy happy finally i should say that uh turbo Turbo mode works as well. You can hear it mostly when you uh, reset it. You can hear the the tone is quicker. So that works as well. Yeah, I'm quite happy. So I'm still not sure what I'm going to do about these keys. Whether I'm just going to write over them. So I really need to write over these ones. Um. But yeah, I need to check this keyboard out anyway to make sure all the keys are... Everything seems to be working correctly. But I'm just... Yeah. Yeah, very good.